Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here for another quick tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to resolve the Windows 10 or Windows 11 issue with the Windows Installer service. Could not be accessed. This can occur if the Windows Installer is not correctly installed. Contact your support personnel for assistance. So this should hopefully be a pretty straightforward process here, guys. And without further ado, let's go ahead and jump right into it. So all you have to do is open up the search menu, type in CMD, best results should come back with command prompt. Go ahead and right click on that and select run as administrator. If you receive a user account control prompt, select yes. And now in this elevated command line window, you want to type in NET space start space MSI S E R V E R. So basically just MSI server. Each letter should be capitalized and then server you know, lowercase after the S in server. So once you have it, as you see it on my screen, hit enter on your keyboard. It should say the Windows installer service is starting and that it was started successfully. Now, if you're seeing that the syntax is not correct or some sort of other error here, that means you didn't type it in properly. So again, that's one thing I would recommend taking a look at there. Something else we can try as well is MSI EXEC space forward slash unregister. Again, exactly you see on my screen. So MSI EXEC space forward slash unregister and then hit enter. And then once you're done with that, type in MSI EXEC space forward slash reg R E G server. So again MSI EXE same as the first command here, and then a space forward slash, and this is not register, so please keep in mind this isn't just like unregister and then we're re-registering it. This is actually R-E-G-S-E-R-V-E-R, -E -E and then hit enter. And then once that is done, if you want to attempt to launch the application again, hopefully that would have resolved the problem. You may need to restart your computer though at this time, so if you're still having an issue, would suggest restarting your computer. And just give that a moment. And then, like I said, hopefully at this point your issue should have been resolved. If you're still having a problem, one final thing we can attempt would be to run a system file check or utility scan. So in order to initiate that, open up the search menu one more time and type in CMD. Once again, command prompt, right click on it, run it as administrator, select yes, and now type in SFC space forward slash scan now. Scan now should all be one word, attach that forward slash now front. Hit enter and keyboard to begin the system scan. This will take some time to run, so please be patient. Okay, and once that has concluded, go ahead and close out of here and then restart your computer one more time.
and then hopefully this point of issue has been resolved. So as always, thank you guys for watching this brief tutorial. I do hope I was able to help you out, and I do look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial. Goodbye.